Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Extra Gravy. Bringing you another game of League of Legends. Playing Udir in the jungle. Uh, got the tiger stance going on. This game, I decide I want to be a dick. And invade the enemy jungler, which is Elise. Which is pretty good uh, to do. It's risky, but if you do it and it works, it relieves pressure pretty much off of every lane. For one reason, they know she's dead for, you know, however long and take her to get out to the jungle. But she's going to be so behind. If she does, if she starts ganking and doesn't get ganks, then she's going to she's gonna be so far behind, she's going to be useless. Uh, she's a really good early game jungler. Um, so if you shut her down early, she's, you know, she's going to fall off late and uh, not be as useful as she would if you just let her uh, free farm and let her gank lanes. Uh, the good thing about Udir, uh, he's really strong early and he can be really strong late. Um, you know, he's really strong with his tiger stance early. If you build on Feral Flare, he could be, you know, a god later on, uh, later on in the game. Um, so what I do, I take my red and uh, go to her red. Obviously, uh, Trick2G obviously does this, so, uh, you know, it works. You know, you just go ward their red. And she sits there. I don't know why she does this. Maybe she was watching another lane, but I ward that to see what she does. She stands in the bush. She doesn't ward it run up tiger red buff still hitting her and i hit her with um, you know tiger stance and she dies immediately so there's no way she was getting out of that even if she flashed you know i still would have caught her uh, so she was pretty much dead so i get her double buff so that puts her behind i go ahead and take my blue and uh you know when you play an early game like this i don't really worry about farming like if i was playing a feral uh, i just try and make plays counter jungle you know fuck her when she's in her jungle um, I was gonna go around, but Lee Sin's way overextended here, and Trinomir actually picks up the kill. So, and I like this Trinomir. Nine times out of ten, a laner's gonna sit there and farm with no health and end up dying. The ship pisses me off. Just let me fucking push the wave, go back, and by the time he's back, you know, it's, the lane will be reset, and uh, you know, him and Lee, you know, will get back closer at the same time rather than him staying with no health and uh, you know, staying with no health, and then he, you know, sometimes will end up staying because Lee Sin's already back in lane. So, I'm glad he just went back and. Uh, you know, just let me push the wave, so that helps. I'm just not a greedy, greedy asshole. Most teammates you get are greedy and stupid, so. Um, so I go back up top. He fights him again, and Lee Sin actually picks up the kill, but I, uh, yeah, I get the kill on Lee Sin. So, at this point in the game, I'm 2-0. Uh, you know, I'm level 5 compared to Elise's level 3. So she really can't do shit to me. So pretty much I have, you know, free will to do anything the hell I want. She gets too close. Let's take a look. I don't know if she has flash or not, but she gets too close, and I didn't want her eight-legged ass near me, so I flash in, stun her, bear, or, uh, stun her, the bear, tiger once, auto attack, she's dead. Level three, she hit, just hit level four, but no way she's getting away from that. So she's tremendously far behind at this point. Uh, you know, she's just, she's, have, she's not having fun. Like, if I was her, I would probably quit, because that's just not fun. So at this point, I'm just trying to make plays, help all lanes. You know, whether you know whether Trinomir died or not, like Lee Sin didn't get the experience, Lee didn't get the experience, I did, and you know, I, I got the experience and puts me ahead and then, you know, it makes uh, Lee Sin lose CS. Um, so I come here to gank mid and he lives. And uh, this Mordekaiser becomes a, like, boss mode at the end of the game. He's just killing everybody. Um, this game was kind of a steamroll, but you know, it's just, uh, this is a game that just shows you that Udir can be strong early and late. It just depends on how you want to play him, which makes him, you know, he makes him a fun champ. And, uh, you know, just being, you know, Ferrari-like speed, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, and being that you can, you know, change his, you know, whatever you want to do, Tiger or Phoenix or, or, you know, he's got so many different ways you can play him. It's a lot of fun. Um, you see, I come here. I'll speed this up a little bit. Come here. They say this is warded, so I was going to back. And, uh, you know, it seemed like Morgana and them was going to step up, so I waited. And then I finally see Elise coming through the ward. And I do a bit. I make a mistake here. I don't. I don't. Fuck this goddamn thing. All right, let me rewind this because I'm bad at this fucking game. All right. So I make a mistake here. I don't let them come out of the bush enough. Um, I mean, I don't let them engage enough or get enough bloodlust or whatever. So I come out of the bush way too early. She gets a stun on me. I don't know what the hell Vayne's doing. She dies immediately. So I kind of fucked that up. We could have went 3-0 right there if I'd have baited it better. Um, but, um, you know, I didn't let them come and uh, engage on our bot lane long enough. And we chased Katarina for a while. 
And she gets away with her stupid ass shampoo. Um, but we do get a dragon out of this. Well, eight minutes in the game, my red just popped up. Still didn't take my, uh, or my red popped up a minute ago. Still haven't gotten it. Still haven't back. I go back, I think, with 3,900 gold at this point, or 2,900 gold, I believe. So, yeah, I got 28, 28, 30 gold right now. So, I'm, uh, I'm sitting pretty as far as gold. Uh, I'm pretty much ahead of everybody on my team. You know, Mordecai is level 7, but I got 4 kills and, uh, you know, 10 less CS, so. At this point in the game, it's, it's up to me just to keep, you know, this snowball going and, you know, help the team win the game. And that's a problem with a lot of people at my level is when they get a lead, they don't know how to capitalize on it, which is ridiculous. Either they play too passive or they play too aggressive and, you know, they end up giving their lead away. So you got when you get a lead, you got to make sure you capitalize on it. And not to say that this was a perfect game. Like I said, I know I made up a few mistakes in this game for sure. Although, you know, I didn't die in this game. But, you know, there's always mistakes that are, that are being made. But right here, I'm just picking up my doubles. Go ahead and speed this up. Farm a little bit. And once you get, once you get some damage on your deer, you know, and this tiger max all the way out, he, you know, and you get behind like Elise and she's not building armor. Like, she's gonna get blown up. So, and I'll, here's a mistake. I should've let Lee Sin walk up closer, tiger him, then bear stance him, then tiger again to give two procs on the dot. But he still dies to my red buff, so. Uh, I still got the kill, but I could've played that a little bit better. Here, I, I love doing this. It just makes you feel, you know, like fuck the enemy team. That's what it's pretty much saying. It's like fuck you guys. I'm gonna do what I want. It's running between the towers. It's hilarious. Pretty much saying that, you know, I'm gonna go where the hell I want. And if you want to do something about it, come see me. But we got four and a half man bot. Uh, Mordecai just got his all. I knew the dot was gonna kill her, so I just uh, tigered her one time and walked out. I'd have lived even if I took another one, but easy gank there. And at this point in the game, our whole team's working together. So, and you know, when you when you work together as a team and you know, you're trying to snowball their lanes, it, the games go so smoothly. Um, so I, I can't stress that enough. Just gonna pick up some farm here, race. I go back here shortly. Oh no, I'll sit here and dance with these two fucking idiots for a while. Oh yeah. Yeah, dance with her. I want to dive this Katarina. Which I end up doing. Again, my red buff saves me. Like, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna blow flash. I, I'll blow flash for the hell of it. I, don't, I really don't care. No, I'll do what I want. I got the damage to get in and get out. Yep. I got red buff. And my tiger stance, so no way she's getting out of that. Here's another instance, at least. And it's a, this, is, this is a good reason right here why it's always good to attack move. You see here, I'll slow down. I stun her and walk immediately to the side. And she misses her uh, misses her cocoon. If she probably would have hit that, if she would have hit that, I probably would have died because Morgana would have landed her snare and Katarina would have thrown her little fucking sword in and fucking all to me and I probably would have died. So it's always good, you know, if you're playing anybody, really, so when you attack them, move to the side or, or uh, attack and move. Uh, so that's one instance right there where it's, uh, you know, Always good to do that. Yeah, they know what the deal is. She knows what the deal is. She's felt the... She's felt the tiger. I don't know what the hell that was. It was so obvious. I'm just farming, farming. I haven't been back again since the first back. 
just about six minutes ago. I probably should have, but I'm still way way ahead of everyone. There's really no need for me to go back. Pick up another dragon. Uh, they were good on time in that. And here I go back. I think I start building towards the Triforce. Typical item on him. Yep. Yep, so I get the phase of machine and I get the dagger. Um, building towards the zeal, obviously. And this was kind of a stomp, but you know, this is just a good uh, you know, good show of how you know when you get a lead to make use of it. Uh, and just to keep every lane snowballing and uh, you know, use your advantage to, uh, to help win the game. Uh, and that's what I was finding a lot of times with my uh, Feral Flare games is when people got a lead on my laners, you know, they would, you know, as I ranked up more and more, they knew how to take their lead and, uh, you know, push it so they would end the game faster. So it wouldn't give me a chance to, you know, farm my Feral Flare. And uh, like, I don't know what the hell she's doing. Can't see I'm three levels higher, than her. but yeah, they just they end the game, so you really have no chance of farming Feral Flare. So um, once people started, you know, taking advantage of their lead, you know that because I used to play Shyvana Feral Flare all the time, and that's what honestly carried me through uh, high silver. Um, yeah, you know, I was like 80% win rate with like 28 wins. It was ridiculous. Um, but I haven't really done that too much because, like I said, it wasn't working. I haven't had the success success like I was before. So, uh, but, you know, also, just, you know, Udir can be played multiple ways. Early game champ, late game champ. Um, you know, just depends on, you know, your style of player. Maybe even who you're jungling against. If you want to shut down an early game jungler, you know, he's definitely a champion that could do it. He's probably one of the best duelists in the game. Uh, level, you know, one through three, whatever. You know, I don't know. You know, he's, he's really strong early. Like, his tiger stance is, is absurd. Does a ton of damage. And you know it, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to lose a fight when you're him. And she's just, she's fucking done. You'll see, she just melted. She had no chance. So that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it. It's just uh, more me running around, killing shit. Purple team's turret has been destroyed. I was waiting for Morgana to come back here. I thought she was gonna come back. At least now I don't know why the hell he ran all the way back. He could have just backed and. But he's a bitch. Bitch made. I tried catching him coming back, but he was doing he was doing golem, so that's where he went. Yep. So if we just take the tower here. Alright, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He had like no health. Now here's where Mordekaiser becomes a god down here. I think he gets three kills or something stupid. Check it out. Oh, yeah, the vein was pissed off. The vein was pissed because Elise kept feeding. I think they were bitching at the end of the game. She just wanted to get the game over with. Which, you know, when you, when you take a lead and, and you make a take advantage of your uh, of your lead, that's what happens. You get teammates flaming at each other. You know, and just killing the other jungler early game, it does a lot, a lot more things than just give you gold. You know, your teammates are obviously going to be pissed at you. Like, you get somebody like me, hates fucking losing, they're going to be pissed at you. Um, you know, they're going to start flaming you. you know, the jungler's not going to be able to gank. So it relieves pressure off, you know, off all the lanes. So you know, this is just one way I like to play you, dear. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know how you liked it, if you liked it. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.